everybody, it's me. I'm Kelly Smith and I run the program Hello Dolly Senior Visits, Doll Therapy, and Doll History Visits. What I wanna talk about today is what types of dolls make good donation dolls. Because we do the doll therapy, of course, they're reborn baby dolls that people can hold and love uh, for our doll therapy program is what comes to mind for most people. But because we do doll history and we gift dolls, for our Doll of Her Dreams part of the program, and we also gift them for all of our visits when we are in facilities. We will bring a basket full of dolls that at the end of the discussion that the residents and the seniors can feel free to take one or two of them to keep, either for themselves in their rooms or to gift to a grandchild when they come. They can do with it whatever they want. So we take in all kinds of dolls, but I wanna show you kind of a variety of the types of dolls that we take in. Of course, we've got the cabbage patches. The cabbage patches are always popular. You may have had some um, that they collected. Some of the seniors that we talk to, when they go into the assisted living facilities, they have to get rid of a lot of their possessions. And of course, dolls are sometimes one of the first things to go. But the thing that they miss very, very much, cabbage patches are so nice and soft. You know, they're easy to hold. It's fun when the grandkids come so they, you know, the, the smaller um, children have something to play with. Um, cabbage patches are fantastic. They can come to us without any clothes and I can either sew clothes for them or I take in um, doll clothes donations. We actually, right now, I've got probably two boxes of different size dog clothes waiting for the right doll to come in without clothes for us to match with them. So it's wonderful when they come in their uh, original clothing, but they don't have to be. I love her. This is Miss Giggles. Isn't she fun? It's very recognizable to seniors. <laughs> they grow her eyes. Um, and, and they're always just kind of fun and happy. And yeah, Miss Giggles. It's fun to bring in a recognizable doll like the Raggedy Ann and Andy in different sizes. Um, and then to talk about if they ever had one, if they watched the cartoons when they were on the television or read the stories initially, or if they know the history of the man who wrote the Raggedy Ann and Andy um, books uh, for his daughter and the story that that is. It's, it's a wonderful little story, but it's a good history lesson that we do in facilities. And it's nice to have, I've got uh, a few Raggedy Ann and um, two Andys, but it's nice to be able to have some to also give to the residents so that when I leave, if they want one, they can have one too. China heads. These ones always bring smiles. A lot of times people will have stories about either the china head they had or their mother had or that their grandmother had. Like I was never allowed to touch it, but here, you can hold my china doll um, and we're okay with it because we believe dolls are meant to be loved. We don't need to keep them in cases and all that fun stuff. This is the time to enjoy them itself. This is a reproduction china head. And um, I love teaching the residents about the difference. I'll bring in an antique and a and a reproduction and I'll talk to them about the differences and how you can tell and it's usually they're very fascinated by that. This is actually one from my childhood but people have loved the topsy-turvy dolls where they tell a story. You know what story that is? Little Red Riding Hood. You can flip the dress up and down. So the topsy-turvy dolls are always fun. Cupid dolls. These are really good giveaway ones. These are ones that a lot of the seniors go to right away in the basket to take to keep in their room are the little Cupid dolls. How many of you know this one? This is the Chatty Cathy doll. That one usually brings about quite a bit of conversation, talking about when the Chatty Cathy doll came out and the commercials that were with it. And a lot of times when I go into facilities, I'll play in the background the actual commercials for the doll when they came out or the commercials for um, the Ideal doll company. You know, she's wonderful, she's ideal. Um, in the background while we're talking about the dolls. But Chatty Cathy being one of the first talking dolls. There's actually a really good documentary on YouTube about Chatty Cathy and about how she came to be. Special donation that was sent to me. Look at this beautiful doll. It was her sister's doll and she sent it to me. The story behind it is one that I share in the facilities, but it's one that a lot of residents can um, relate to when I tell that story. And I just love these older dolls. Oh, they're wonderful. And a lot of times when they come to me, their wigs aren't quite right. They might be unstrung and they need to be restrung again. They might be missing a foot. I keep a lot of parts on hand so that I can fix as many dolls as I can. So when they come in, 
I kind of do a little assessment and see, okay, what do I need to do with this doll to make it either ready to go to a resident when they want to love it or make it part of the doll history program so that when the uh, residents are seeing the doll that it's recognizable and as close to what it's supposed to be wearing as possible. We love this one. This is our poor pitiful pearl. Isn't she wonderful? Her story is another really good story we like to tell in adult history. She's very recognizable to the res uh, residents. And when we gifted one of our poor pitiful pearls to a resident and she was asked by her son, um, why did you want a poor pitiful pearl your whole life? And she said, because I was an ugly kid and that's an ugly doll. And I wanted a doll that was ugly like me. <sighs> Didn't quite know what to say, but that was the poor pitiful pearl doll. Saying not all dolls come to us perfect. Here we have a Patty Play Pal. We love the big dolls when they come in. They're fun to dress in seasonal wear when we go into facilities. Now, why is she wearing these silly glasses? Well, she's got some wonky eyes. She's not like just hitting on you there. Um, she's got some eyes that need to be reset. And so until we reset them, we <laughs> keep these glasses on her in, in the room there. But anyways, but that's something that I, I will do. They don't have to be in perfect condition. And then we, when I go to reset eyes, I'm gonna do like five or six dolls at a time. And then she'll get a new set of eyes and they'll be reset in there and they'll be perfect. But she is wearing her original dress, which was really special. Most of my full-size girls like this come wearing toddler clothes that are more recent because it was always fun to dress them in clothes that you wear as well. But she is uh, in her original dress, just needs a little work done on her eyes. But isn't she cute? Love the Patty Play Pals and all the cousins and all the companions. Those dolls are fantastic to donate. This is one we just recently got in, but we got a small collection of Madame Alexander dolls. And many of them are dressed in specific characters. Um, these were a highly collectible doll, especially for people that are seniors in assisted living facilities or nursing homes. And so they're very recognizable and then they talk about the different Madame Alexander dolls that they have had as well. That's kind of an idea of the types of dolls that we're looking for. Um, as you can see, it's just about any type of doll and they can come in any condition. We just really appreciate your donations. There's a lot that we can do with them. Either they stay with us for the doll history part of the program or they're gifted to a resident or in the case of the doll of her dreams, we just are granting one right now. I can't wait to post the story. I'm not gonna tell it all on here right now because I'm waiting for a specific picture to be returned to me so I can tell the whole story on here. And it's such a cute story, but I have a doll to mail out to South Carolina tomorrow, granting a doll of her dreams wish. And it's one of the funnest parts of the program. And I'm really excited because this doll came into my possession the day before I saw that this um, woman was looking for the doll. And so it was just a blessing that I had it and I was able to grant this wish. So again, thank you so much. Um, I appreciate any of your donations that you give to us as far as dolls. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I'm Kelly Smith again from Hello Dolly and I appreciate your time. If you would like to donate a doll, you can contact me via text 208-292-7054 or you can go to our Facebook page, the Hello Dolly Senior Visits and Doll Therapy. And on there at the very top, I have a pinned post that tells you what address that you can send your dolls to. We do ask that you let me know via a Facebook message or again a text that a doll is on its way. And if you have any history on the doll or how you obtained it, or if you would like to donate in the memory of somebody, please let me know. Thank you so much for your consideration.